Hey -o, and welcome back. So, and what we're going to do is just spend a little bit of time just doing what I'm going to call some side questing videos. I know I've already published some that fall under this bracket, but this is leftover footage that I picked up while I was doing the main stories. So, I'm just going to bundle them together. They're going to be like mini little parts here and there. So, yeah, sit back and enjoy the side quest. And then once we wrap up all these, I'll finally dump into the DLCs. So anyway, sit back. Enjoy, and this week's video is Ding! You're welcome. Death for you and me both. Not gonna lie, I've googled about five times how to spell spectacle because I'm a bit simple. But as you can see on the map, we're just at uh, North Anger B. No, no, that's Warwick Hem Homestead. I'm special. So what we're doing is leaving Warwick Homestead, just crossing over the lake here, or the Great Sea, whatever it is, to said Island of the Spectacles. Little house there, but I'll come into it later. Now this is a settlement. Now you do not get this from any mission from Preston, you know. This makes me maybe a nice little place location for settlers, bro. No, you have to wander there and find it. You do or you don't. It's great. And as you can see, first of all, it's surrounded, inhabited, infested, whatever word you want to use, with Milex. Lots of them. Different, as you can see, we've got a glowing one there. So we've got different strengths. We've got, we just saw me kill a hunter there. So there's a lot of different things we have to work through. So let's quickly get through. Well, that's it. Razor claw, glowing one here. So let's just quickly get through, uh, eliminate all them, have a quick little explore, show off part of why this is probably one of the best locations that you can get in the game. And there's a couple of little things here and there as well that we're just going to show off. So as you can see, I'm making a bit of a hash out of this, uh, exploiting bats as much as I can. And the stranger actually showed up for once. What in the... He shows up in the clip, but he never actually does anything. Anyway, I'd say focused. Remember... You start off at Warwick Homestead, North, not North Anglian Beach. But anyway, so what we're going to do is, you can see this is why it's amazing. Look at the size of it. It's a nice island just cut off from the rest of the Commonwealth. Perfect. That's why we love this. What you want to do is head right in the center and you're going to find this little tin can. Now, we're, we'll look in there later. Uh, for the moment, we're just going to follow these power lines that are running from it. And then once we get for a bit of a clearing they run straight up to the ship the boat vessel whatever it is so we're just going to head over there and once we get there eventually you know because walking speed's great and yeah uh, apparently you need to use that little foot bridge yeah um hmm, great so what we do is we go on the full bridge, right? I'm just going to head straight on in and on the first level. See like a circuit breaker thing there. So we just pop it open, flip the switch, and we've restored power. Now, the great thing with it restoring power is it wakes up loads of stuff in the area. See what I mean? Before we encounter that, though, we're going to let Curry... Yeah, we're back to Curry again. Yeah, I get her. Uh, she can still have it a minute. Just minor, minor loot here. Except for the steamer trunk here. Um, but this is what I want to show you. Yes. The look bobble head is located in here. So if you come here, don't forget to get that. I mean, you can come back at any point. It's always going to be there. But just don't forget to pick that up. And, yep, already damaged my arm. I know it's 50% health. Just going to dance around. Probably won't best using my um, melee only character. For this little section but yeah now whatever so let's just exploit some vats i didn't throw a grenade what does that mean right we'll try the vats again right. i uh, right not being funny when i was editing this bit together it took me ages to look like what happened to my attack like my ap went down but if you get a bit closer you can see, well, uh, I'm just attacking the hunter there. I've not really done any damage to the uh, queen. So, I don't know what happened there. Again, we saw the uh, grenade symbols if I thrown something. That wasn't me. So, I don't know what that was related to. Look, that is not a critical hit. Like, I don't know what happened. Maybe it got broken. My, but I died anyway. It's going to say maybe my flow got broken. Whatever. 
But yeah, just didn't work. So anyway, this is the second attempt. And again, instantly powering up, leaving Curry out there. I got a new lab coat. Looks like it is. So instantly got a hunter pop up, and there's the queen. Now this time, uh, I highly recommend this if you're using a melee character. I've gone into Blitz and Ninja, so you do more damage from further away. Sorry, your range of attacking bats is a lot bigger, and you do more ma damage if you're in Sneak. So I pretty much just one-shotted it. Pretty overpowered. <laughs> no. See, when you think properly and use your stats and your perks properly and you investigate properly into building a melee character, you do a lot better. Right. So, that's that done. There's a... Look at it. He's got a broken leg or something, I think. He's not working, walking even very quick. But, yeah, let's just get rid of him. Um, loot the corpses, pick up what we can, get some of the meat there that we can use for either building up traps so we can get little kittens on our settlement, which is always good. Get some meat we can use to cook him with, some nice stuff like that. Not bad. Not bad at all. We haven't quite finished up, though. We've got the bobblehead, which is one of the main things you need to do when you're here. Uh, the other thing we're just about to do. So heading back to that metal tin can, the shack I was on about earlier. Um, yeah, I went a bit of the wrong way, but I correct myself and I'm over here. Just going to head over and there's going to be the workbench that you get from every uh, customizable settlement. There it is. But still can't use it yet because now you turn on the power. There's a note that explains that you're meant to go to the boat, but I thought it would just be quite better. What's that noise? Hmm, ominous. But I thought it'd be better if I just went straight there, did it, and explained. There is a note there to give you the law to explain to go there, but just what, straight, you know, as the crow flies. Going back to the noise, that's a frequency that basically drives away. And you're not going to get swarmed over too often now with my lurks. This is yours now. This is your cell. 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 <laughs> There's something funny about watching your companion run after an enemy that she's, she's not going to catch. Anyway, so now let's just head back to the tin can one more time just to prove the point. Here we go. And voila. Look at, look at the draw distance there, the range on the green mark. This is the barrier that you have. And again, as you can see there, lots of wood here. I can't emphasize that enough. A lot of mud. Now the house right at the start is on about. This is where I am now. You can see we've got uh, crafting stations here. I'm storing them because I want to move them around and play with it. But again, power armor there. So lots of real, real cool. Like it will take a long time if you want to scrap everything there. But like I said, there is so much wood. It is covered in trees. So yeah, welcome to Spectacle Island. Oh, bit of a how do you do for you? It's called Spectacle Island in real life because, drum roll please, in real life, it actually got his name because the island from overhead resembled a pair of spectacles see the beard's giving you an education not just in the geographic areas of real and fictional boston uh, realizing that's where the name came from it's because they resembled a spectacle um fictional because it's in the game don't think that part through don't cut that it's funny but I'm also giving you an education in how to be crap at YouTube. So stay safe, stay beautiful. Catch you in the next video. Bye! One day I'll get a view.